Create a link to Blackboard content. In this tutorial, we'll copy a link for a folder in resources, create a link on our menu in our Sakai site, and then clean things up. Let's step back for a minute. It's important to know that you have two ways to display resources. The first is through the resources tool, available on every site. The second is to create a link to a resources folder that displays like this. So to begin, we're going to go to the Sakai site and we're going to hover over a top level folder. I'm going to hover over edit details for course documents. That's going to be my link. I'm going to add a short description here and we already saw that descriptions display when you create this link view. Now we're going to select the URL for copying. I'll go to my browser and click on edit copy and update. The next thing we need to do is add a new tool. We're going to go to Site Info, Edit Tools. Scrolling all the way down to the Web Content tool. This will allow us to create a link. Continue. So you can give it a name and of course you can rename this later if you want to change it. I'll call it Course Content. And now I'm going to paste either through my browser, Edit Paste or Control V and continue. All right, let's look at the menu now. We have our course content and we have resources. Just to refresh, resources looks like this. Course content, our new link, displays information like this. There's the description I typed in. There are folders, we can go into them, access documents, PowerPoints, PDFs, what have you. And so this looks a little bit more like Blackboard and some people prefer this particular view of resources. Now the next thing we need to do is neaten things up. I want that course content to be up higher on the menu. To do that I go to Site Info Page Order and here's where I click and drag and move things around. I'm going to pull resources down toward the bottom. I'm going to keep it visible and I'm going to remove the Migrate Content tool. We're done with that. That was a one-time tool that we needed to use. Click Save and you should now see the changes take effect. Course content has moved up. I'm going to view the site as a student would see it. It reduces my menu just a little bit and then as I click through here's what I see in course content as a student pretty easy and here's what I see in resources. You have options you can choose either or both views. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other Sakai tutorials online.